What's up guys, General Heed here. Uh, today we got a really cool uh, glitch to show you on Halo 5. Uh, on the mission Battle of Sinaion. And that is how to crash a spirit. Well, crash and flip a spirit, actually. Um, so basically, on a mission Battle of Sinaion, when you get to this part uh, where you have to go through all these uh, platforms, this is like the under part of the city, when you go down the elevator. And you have to, you have to jump across all these platforms and you eventually get to a part where you have to fight a couple hunters. No, t towards the uh, hunter part, there's like a um, what do you call it? The, a spirit that drops off some infantry. There'll be two spirits actually. One is like much closer to you and drops off infantry. There's another one further back that also seems to be doing something, uh, but it just flies off and kind of disappears. Now pay very close t attention to the screen right now because you only see it for a second. But right there in the distance, there's a spirit that kind of just disappears, and it, it looks like it entered it like slip, uh, slip space or something actually, which is um, strange because I didn't think spirits had slip space drives in Halo. But you know I could be totally wrong on that. But anyways, uh, that's the spirit that we're targeting, the one out in the distance, not the one that was closer to us. Uh, but normally when you play the game, it that it just disappears and flies into slip space. It's basically scripted to do, to, uh, do that. But, as you know, their channel lately, uh, just because something that's scripted to happen doesn't mean that we have to let it happen. So let's uh, let's get on with it. Now just make sure you uh, follow this path I'm taking. And it, it, from, our personal, from my personal experience, it works better if you, do, uh, if you play as Vale, because she's faster. Now, just be warned, the method that we're using, it's not 100% guaranteed. Uh, but it's it's worked pretty well for us. Like we managed to do it like three times in a row. But just make sure you follow this, this exact same path I'm taking, uh, as preferably Veil. Vale. And if you're fast enough and you you, know, you do it correctly, that spirit that was supposed to fly away, uh, for some reason, it its path shifts a little bit and it ends up crashing into that pillar over there and getting stuck. Uh, and if you, it doesn't always get stuck in that position either, depending on how you, uh, depending on your timing, I guess. Or it could, it could, it could just be random, like exactly like the position it crashes in. But uh, typically, it'll either get stuck in this position or it will um, crash to the ground a little bit, which we'll get to in just a second. But with the spirit, it will stay there the entire time, even though it's scripted to fly away and disappear in the slip space. It will not disappear anymore. It will actually stay up there the entire time. And it is fully solid too. Uh, as you can see, you can even like stick it. You can destroy the turret on it as well. But that's it. You can only destroy the turret. We uh, we spent a while trying to destroy the spirit to see if it was possible to destroy it. Which would have made an interesting video if we could. But unfortunately you cannot destroy it. What is interesting though, if you stick it with a plasma grenade, the entire uh, ship glows like it has a shield or something. I'm not sure if it does that with every single vehicle, maybe it does, but it does affect the uh, spirit as well. Now, in most cases the spirit will get stuck in this kind of position, and it can be pushed around with like fuel rods and like energy swords, and if you do it correctly, if you keep hitting it at a correct position and enough times, you can actually like move it around a little bit, and in this case we completely flipped it over upside down. Now, we were hoping, it, it was it was wishful thinking at best, but we were hoping that if we flip the, uh, the spirit over, it'd be like in the old Halo games, like Halo 3, when you flip a phantom over, you could just flip it around constantly by pressing the flip button. Or even, it could be like an easter egg, like flipping the elephant, where it had like a secret message, where it's like, hold, hold B to flip, wait, what, how'd you do that? But unfortunately, flipping the spirit doesn't have anything like that. At this point, the spirit is pretty much dead. Uh, it's not going to take off again or anything. It it seems like it keeps trying to fly forward slightly, but with not much power. But that's about it. Other than that, I don't think it's supposed to do anything else. And like I just said, unfortunately, it's not like the uh, phantoms in Halo 3. Once it's flipped over, it pretty much stays that way. It, you can't really unflip it or anything. And also, the speeder is actually really heavy. Like It takes a lot of force to move it. Took a lot of fuel rod shots as you saw earlier, like a lot of energy sort of meleeing. And Spartan charging it barely like nudges it either.
But unfortunately, that's basically what happens if you flip the spirit. It, it's literally just flipped. You can't unflip it, there's no secret message or anything. Now let's try again, but let's try to um, move the spirit in a different direction. Let's try to knock it off the edge and I'll show you what happens if you, uh, if you free it. You know, completely give it space to move around. Like I said, it, it, it's pretty much dead, it doesn't fly away, but I'll, I'll show you what actually happens, like what that looks like. So here we are, uh, trying to move it. It's uh, somewhat difficult to move. You need like a lot of explosive weapons, fuel rods, plasma casters, grenades, energy swords. Uh, the hunters can actually move it quite a bit with their swing. The swing has a lot of force to it. However, um, it's pretty hard to get them to hit it. It would be nice if there was um, gravity hammers on this mission, but nope, there aren't. So you have to you have to do this without that. Now, even though there's no gravity hammers, the energy sword actually is pretty effective in in pushing it because that's probably the strongest melee weapon you can have uh, on this mission. And it will take a while to. It could take a while sometimes to move it, or sometimes if it's at the right angle, you can move it around pretty quickly. But you, once it starts moving, it'll move pretty quickly. It's just the initial movement will take quite a lot, and it, it, you, you're only nudging it at the beginning. Now, as I mentioned, the uh, best way to, is to use like all the explosive weapons. So as you saw, the fuel rods were back there. There's a plasma caster up here, if you didn't know. Uh, oh, and I forgot to mention... Um, if you're wondering, you can't stun the spirit with the plasma pistol. The first time we were testing this out, messing around, when I stuck it with the plasma grenade, someone else also shot it with the plasma pistol. And as you saw earlier, when you stick it with the plasma grenade, it kind of lights up like as a shield or something. I thought that was the plasma pistol stunning it, stunning it when it's overcharged, but it turns out it's just the plasma grenade, and the plasma pistol has zero effect on it. And as you probably saw, the engines were also like flashing and sparking a little bit. At first, I thought that's because like we damaged it and that you could destroy the spirit, but apparently that's how the spirit's engines always are. So that's perfectly normal for it to be like flashing and sparking like that. Like, it doesn't look like it's damaged when it does that. Like, it doesn't look like it's normal. But as it turns out, it is. It would have been cool if you could destroy the spirit, but unfortunately in Halo 5, it seems like most of these vehicles can't be destroyed. I have to think of it. I think like in most Halo games, you can't destroy the spirit. I don't even remember if in Halo Reach you could either. I'm not sure. Somebody could probably clarify that for me. Uh, just let me know in the comments if that's possible. But I don't remember off the top of my head if you could destroy a spirit in Halo Reach. I know you could destroy phantoms and plenty of them, but I don't know about the spirits. But yeah, as you can see, like I said, once you get it uh, loose from there, it's, it, it's much easier to push. And here it's coming down, and we're going to try to push into the ocean. And I pretty much follow into the ocean at this point. But as you can see, it just drops down. It doesn't fly anywhere. It doesn't take off again. It's whatever it was scripted to do, it's, it's gone, and it's just like a dead object at that point. But yeah, so I hope you guys found it to be interesting. Um, and if you did, you know, make sure to leave a like, uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. If you have any questions, or if there's anything else you want me to check out in the future or try out, just let me know. But other than that, uh, make sure you ha if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Uh, stay tuned, and I will see you guys next time.